My great-great-grandfather, Haysbert, was probably one of more than a million people sold south in the internal slave trade. He was born in North Carolina. But his grandson, my grandfather, William Haysbert, was born in Louisiana. So do you know what this is? Probably not. No. What is it's it? A, it's a ship manifest. So, you know, every ship had a list of what were all the goods and things that were on the ship. And this ship is a ship that is taking 83 people from Virginia to Natchez to be sold in the cotton and sugar plantation. And what it's documenting is the real humans, the people who were forced to leave the East Coast where they were enslaved mm -hmm. and sold down the river to the cotton fields. Yeah, I can see some of the descriptions here. It says yellow black. Mm -hmm. It has people's names, their coloring, and their ages, how tall they are, and exactly where they're from. Most of these people would presumably be separated from their families. Sometimes yeah. people were sold multiple times. Wow. So there are people walking around now that probably don't know who their families so, or extended families are. Yes, because a lot of people today might know that their family's from Louisiana or mm -hmm. they might know their family's from Alabama, but where were they from before that? All right. I just recently learned about my own family. It is a history I always assumed was lost to time. I can go back to 1820. You can go back to 1797 17, with 17, one of these ancestors. That's, that's a long way. There's really interesting things about this, because you can see people born in Virginia, but this person, their child, was born in Mississippi. That means these people were sold. I just can't conceive of, of having, having this in front of me, you know? And it's, I, I feel honored to be able to look at it and to see what actually happened. Look at these ages. Oh my God. 12, 19, 17. 17. Two year olds. Two year olds. God, just the stories. Enslaved families lived with the fear of being sold south at a moment's notice. Often they were snatched from the fields with no warning and no chance to say goodbye to family and friends. No one was ever safe. 